there's enough evidence today uh, to point to the security forces consistently. And certainly the Truth Commission in Guatemala assigned a vast majority of responsibility for the violence to the security forces. But no one in Guatemala, and I dare say very few people in Latin America, have ever seen a, a document uh, such as this one, a document that, that, that actually comes from the inside of the killing machine that perpetrated these crimes. That, that is what's so extraordinary and unique about this, this notebook. As you read it, it becomes overwhelmingly clear that this was some kind of military intelligence unit that was regularly surveilling these individuals, um, and the surveillance would inevitably result in their abduction. I think one of the big questions for us now is what precisely was the U.S. intelligence role in Guatemala in the period. I'm, I'm, we know that they were maintaining normal liaison relations, that is, normal relationships with the, the Guatemalan intelligence services. But to what extent? To what extent were they sitting down at the table with them? And, 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 and were they aware not only of their strategy but of their tactics at the time? That, that's a big question that needs to be answered by the U.S. government now.